Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a Illinois antique uh, haul for you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and show you the antique stores that I went to in Illinois. So if you'd like to see what I got, stay tuned to the end. See you soon. All right. Here we are back at my old stomping grounds, you guys. This is where I used to have my old booth, St. Clair Antique Mall in Fairview Heights, Illinois. Let's go in and see. This booth usually always has like 50% off. What is that? Do I spy? Well, that's cool. enjoyed shopping along with me um, so let's go ahead and get into the haul shall we okay so the first item that I got 
is a Victor mug. Chunky Ironstone Victor mug. And there's the stamp. Everyone loves Victor mugs, right? This one is a Shenango mug. Chunky Ironstone as well. Every time I see these, I pick these up because I know everyone is looking for them. <laughs> this next piece, oh my gosh, you guys. It's a little, I just pictured this in someone's um, laundry room. It's a miniature little clothes dryer. Like it squeezes the clothes out and dries them. Isn't that amazing? I thought that was like the cutest little thing. <laughs> this next piece I got, what is it? What is it? Not an artichoke. Something. It's a little little plate. I think figure someone could put their spoons on it. Ironstone. Relish plate. That's what it is. And it's got dual stamps plus the actual stamp. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that was gorgeous. Never found one of these before. So this is my first. Relish dish. Here's the stained and crazed little pitcher. Look at him. You guys know that I'm all about the stained. Gorgeous, right? So that's a little pitcher. Along with the stained and crazed, I got this little stained and crazed little platter. And then, along with the ironstone, I got this beautiful chamber pot, and it does not smell. So, every time, I made the mistake one time, buying one of these for $12, and it smelled so bad of pee. Like, you guys, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a good deal, and I didn't smell it until I got home. It was bad, so I ended up throwing that one out, but now, every time I find these, I learned my lesson, and smell <laughs> so this beautiful baby came home with me no chips or cracks there's your stamp there's the inside so make sure whenever you find these and the slot pots smell them because I found a slot pot up I don't know if I got told you guys but when me and my friend Rachel went up uh, up north Arkansas she found a beautiful um, slot pot but she's like I'm not gonna get it you want it so I was like yes and I was carrying it around with me holding it and I kept smelling pee and I'm like what is that I'm like is it me and little did I know I picked it up and put it to my nose oh my gosh you guys it was so bad it was it was bad <laughs> so yeah I put that thing down and if you guys follow me on Instagram you already know you saw it it was bad it was a good price too. It was like 50, I think. No wonder, right? But my next two finds are these little Demi Johns. I thought that was beautiful with the green bottle. Usually they you don't see them this small. Like these are the small ones. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Everyone gets the big ones. But then I also found this one. Little Demi John. Different color, different shade of wood. Those were kind of cool. And then my last find to show you guys is, well, actually I have one more. I'll show this one. Let me go get that one. Hold on, stay there. Okay, now this is my favorite find. So I saw this one on Facebook and that showed like the antique store was posting pictures of different things. And I always like to browse before I go to a store. And I saw this and I clicked and I zoomed in. It was on the top shelf. No one probably saw it ever, but I did. You guys, look at this baby. 
as soon as I saw it on the picture, I was like, that's mine. <laughs> this is from January 23rd, 1873. Bennett's. This is a French syrup bottle that they used to have syrup in. Ain't she gorgeous? So yeah, the uh, antique dealer, I messaged him and he's like, yeah, it's still there. I'm like, it's mine, <laughs> it's mine. So also in his booth, he had another booth across the store. So I found, are you ready? Look at this. So you guys know that I always pick up the slot pots, ironstone slot pots. This, the, he had it called a vase and I've never seen one like this. So look at the bottom, there's your beautiful stamp. Stained and crazed. It's got the unicorn and the lion. Look at that. I don't know if you guys remember that beautiful ombre picture that I found um, at the junk ranch, at the antique store there. It reminds me of this. It's like that, that ombre effect. Look at that. But they call these like slot pots. It's as big as a slot pot. So here's the inside. But can you just imagine dry hydrangeas in this? Yeah, gorgeous, like on the centerpiece, you guys. So everyone keeps asking me if I'm gonna sell it or if I'm gonna keep it. I'm still deciding. Well, this one I'm keeping. This one I'm keeping, that's mine. Y'all know that I can barely find anything without color on it. I collect stained iron stone that's all natural. But this one, I don't know, I think I'm going to sell it, maybe. Because I forgot to tell you guys, I have some very good news. And I'm probably going to be starting another kind of like a separate addition to the YouTube. We just found out that you, well, you guys know that well, my husband's military and we've been in for 20 years. We just found out that my husband made chief. <laughs> he made chief. I'm so proud of him. That's the highest um, enlisted um, stripe in the uh, Air Force. He's chief. I'm like, I can't. I met him. I've been with him since he was basically a senior airman. All the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. Like, I am so proud. Like, I was like, tears. <laughs> I'm not going to tear up now. <laughs> okay. But anyway, um, sorry. <laughs> um, hold that thought. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm back. <laughs> I get very emotional because I'm so proud of him. But um, yeah, he made Chief and which you guys know we've been here. It'll be, we've been here three years and it'll be four years in next November. So we find out we're gonna be moving. So I wanna take you guys along for the journey. If you guys will enjoy that, please let me know if you wanna stay, I guess. <laughs> Find out, well, we find out where we're going. Um, we find out what bases are gonna be open in January. So, oh, I mean, it could possibly, like the ones that he could go to, I think right now, that he's just guessing would be, what is it? Between Alaska, we I mean, we could be going back to Alaska. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I loved Alaska. That's where my daughter was born. Um, Alaska, Arizona, Las Vegas, um, Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. Um, what is it? Oh gosh, there's just different ones and we don't know. There's this like, we're, it's like a guessing game right now, but you guys, we're going to be moving soon. Like, oh my gosh, we see what's open. January and then we'll find out in March where we're going for sure and then we'll have orders and then we'll probably be leaving moving by summer so that's gonna be a big 
I have so much stuff, you guys. I don't... <laughs> what am I going to do? Everyone, every time I say I'm military on my Instagram, they're like, you have the movers move all that stuff. I'm like, well, yeah. I'm like, I've been accumulating from with me and my husband for 20 years now. Right? My gosh. Like, I have so much stuff. I'm ready to buy a house. Like, we've lived in military housing for so long. Everyone I know has owned houses. Everyone, a whole family owns houses. And I'm like, it's going to be my turn. My turn, Lord. <laughs> I'm like praying and oh, I can just imagine putting all of our stuff in a home one day. Like it's, it's going to be a dream come true. But that time will come. But right now we'll find out where we're going. And I wanted to kind of take you guys along if you guys would like that. You'll have to comment down below and let me know if I should start like a military move along with me. <laughs> I'll probably um, try to film when my husband lets me know where we're going so you guys can experience it along with me. It's going to be, hopefully I won't be tears. Hopefully, I don't know if I want to go to California. I don't want to go to California. I don't want to go to Arizona. I would love to go back to El Alaska. That'd be awesome. But then the traveling, I don't know. And then plus my whole business. I mean, I'm going to have to, now that I'm antiques, you know, dealer, I kind of, makes me a little nervous but then we could possibly be going overseas Germany England can you guys imagine I told oh my God. I told my husband I was like oh my gosh wait a minute England I was like can you imagine the iron stone that I'd be finding y'all your girl would be hooking y'all up with some awesome iron stone <laughs> I'd be out there digging stuff, you know, those little mason jars, oh, not the mason jars, but like the iron stone jars they bury down, you know, in the ground. Yeah, I'd be the one digging them up. Yo, oh my gosh. So, oh, I just can't even, it's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys will enjoy coming along with me. So that'll be happening pretty soon. Um, we go back home to St. Louis area for the Christmas break, so I'll be getting you more vi uh, videos of shopping with me and then more hauls. So yeah, I hope you guys loved this video. Sorry I'm rambling, but I'm still like in shock <laughs> that we're going to be moving. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys for being here with me. It means the world. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.